So I did a little bit of shopping. I went to Sephora this week and I got some stuff. And I got so many fun things that I am really excited about and hopefully you guys will be too. So let's just go ahead and dive right in and I'm gonna start just in no particular order. I'm just gonna kind of go through the bag. So first up is the Cali Ray Big Swell Hydrating Glassy Lip Plumper. So if you've been around on my channel for a while, you know that I'm always in search of lip plumpers, not necessarily the kind like Too Faced lip injection that burn and sting. I'm really not a fan of those at all but something like this that has the hyaluronic acid and it has maxi lip to help kind of just give your lips that plumpness over time and also to smooth and fill in the lip lines, which is what I'm really looking for. I'm not looking for bigger lip volume necessarily, but I would like my lips to be a little bit more smooth looking. So this claims to give you noticeable, immediate and long-term plumping. Also hyaluronic filling spheres, collagen, peptides, vitamin E to boost your your barrier and maxi lip, which is clinically proven to help your lips look 40% plumper and 29% smoother. And I really like the way that this felt going on. I didn't notice any stinging or burning. There was a very, very mild tingle, but nothing crazy. And it really didn't last all that long. I also loved the texture of this gloss. It feels very soft and cushiony. It's not sticky in the slightest bit. And it also is fragrance free. So I was happy with that. At first, it really just looked like I applied a clear lip gloss. I didn't notice too much going on. But after about five minutes or so, I noticed that the color of my lips deepened significantly. I'm guessing that's from all of the blood kind of rushing to them. And then after about 10 minutes, I noticed that I had a ring around the border of my lips and it almost looked like I had applied lip liner. So unfortunately, this can be a side effect of products like this where they really darken your lip color and they create that weird border and I guess it's fine if I'm not going to be wearing lip color but I find that when I wear products like this then it completely changes the color of my lips so then what lip product I put on top of it is going to be affected it's not going to look like the same color so these are not my favorite type of lip plumpers to wear during the day and I'm thinking I'm probably going to be using this one more in the evening time just before bed that way it doesn't really matter what my lips look like and I still get the benefits of it next I picked up a new foundation this is from Laura Mercier and it's her real flawless weightless perfecting foundation I was totally not looking for this but when I passed passed by the display, I noticed that they had this out and it's been out for a little while now. It's not brand, brand new. Laura Mercier is just one of those brands I don't really think about all that much. And so when I saw this, I thought, all right, let me try it. I put a little on the back of my hand and I really loved the texture of this. It feels so thin and lightweight, almost like a serum. And it just looked so good on the back of my hand that I decided to just spring for it, try it out. Unfortunately, the color that I wanted was not available. It was completely sold out. So the color that I thought was gonna look perfect on me was Ecru, which funny enough is the same color that I always wear in Estee Lauder. Um, that was 2C1, so it was supposed to be light with cool undertones. Jones. They were completely sold out, so I had to get 2N1 Cashew. And usually if I can't find a cool undertone, a neutral usually will work as well, and it's not gonna be too warm or too yellow. So this was sort of the next best thing, and when I put it on my hand, it didn't look like a terrible match, even though Ecru was like perfect. If I had my choice, I definitely would have gotten that one. So anyway, this is supposed to be a long wearing foundation that blurs the line between makeup and skincare, and it's supposed to give you a healthier looking complexion. It's a skin loving formula that gives perfecting medium buildable coverage so weightless you'll forget you're wearing anything at all. And I have to say, I mean, today's the first day that I'm trying it out, so I can't really speak to the longevity. I'll be sure to leave a comment down below and just let you know how it wears throughout the day. But I did feel like it gave really nice coverage. I applied it with a sponge, and even with a sponge, I, I would say I got light to medium coverage. If you apply it with a brush, you probably get a little bit more. And I just love how lightweight it is. It is truly, truly seamless. Now, if you're seeing a glow on camera, that's because I applied a 
a sunscreen before this. It's not the foundation that looks glowy. In fact, when I put it on my hand in store, it has a really beautiful satin finish. So it has just the slightest, slightest hint of a glow, but it doesn't look quite this shiny and dewy. So I just wanted to mention that quickly because that's definitely that sunscreen that I applied coming through, which I will talk about in just a second. But overall, I think this foundation just looks really, really nice on my skin. And I'll be sure to update you down in the comments on how it actually wears throughout the day. But so far, I think it has a very flawless look on the skin and it really does feel so weightless it doesn't feel like you're wearing foundation. So I like this a lot. I'll have to keep on playing with it, obviously. Um, and then next up, let me talk about that SPF really quick. It's in a different bag, so I kind of am not going in order, but it's from Fenty Skin. And this was, again, a total impulse purchase. I was just sort of going from gondola to gondola in the store, just looking at what was new. And I happened to see this. I don't know if it's new or not, but they have two different sunscreens that are called Hydra Visor and they have a mineral version and a chemical version. So I ended up getting the mineral one. It has zinc oxide at 15.5% and it's supposed to give light as air hydration, ultra sheer sun protection. It's not supposed to pill and it claims to play well with makeup, which is always a good thing. We always wanna see that when it comes to sunscreen. And also I love the packaging of this. So let me just open it up and show you. I kind of put it back the way that it was before so that you can see how this gets put together. So they give you the outer packaging and then they give you an insert. So when you're done, all you need to do is buy this refill. You don't have to keep purchasing this tube over and over again. You just slide it right in and it locks into place and it's really just super, super easy. And what I love about this too is it comes out as a pink color, which I'm sure you saw when I just put the little clip in there. Um, and for a mineral sunscreen, I was amazed that this doesn't give you any kind of white cast whatsoever. And I was also very impressed with how thin it is. This feels like a beautiful moisturizer and that's it. It really doesn't feel like a sunscreen at all. And the texture is different than any other mineral formula that I've used. They can often be a little thicker and heavier. This one just feels like a really rich moisturizer. If I had one complaint about it, I would say, that it's fragranced pretty heavily and I just feel like that's not necessary. Um, it's not something that really bothers me, but I know that that's gonna limit the amount of people who can use this because a lot of people are sensitive to fragrance. So, I mean, I think it smells really nice. It's kind of like a light, fresh scent. I don't mind it at all, but just something that I wanted you to be aware of in case you were interested in purchasing this. But otherwise, I love it so far, and the Laura Mercier Foundation went on beautifully on top of it with no pilling. So, so far, so good. All right, what's next? Let's see. Oh yeah, this, this I'm super excited about. This is from LYS, and it's their Higher Standards Blush Kit. So I have two of these already. I love this cream blush formula and these are three shades that I do not own. So I was really happy to get this kit. And one of them is a shimmer finish, which I don't believe LYS has ever done. I think all of their other blushes are matte. So I was really excited to try out that color. Let me just show you quickly what the kit looks like. This is limited edition and they're claiming to be high pigment formulas that seamlessly blend into the skin for a natural pop of color that complements all skin tones. They also have skincare ingredients like avocado oil, vitamin E, and kaolin clay. And they're supposed to give wearable color without accentuating the skin's natural texture. You're also getting a lot of product in here. These are four grams each, and the full size I believe is six grams. So the three that are in the kit equals about two of the full size blushes. And those are 18 each, so that would cost you around 36 for two of the full sizes. And this kit is $22, and you're getting about the same amount as two full sizes. And to be honest with you, the bigger ones are almost too big. I feel like for a cream blush that's eventually going to dry out, they give you way, way too much product. I actually think this size makes a lot more sense and it's still gonna last you a long time 
because with these, you only need a little tiny bit of product. So today I'm wearing the Self Love Shimmer Shade because a lot of you guys were asking me to try that out on camera. You really wanted to know what it was like. And I have to say, I love this. It's not an overly shimmery formula. Some glowy blushes can look like you applied highlighter. And with this one, it really doesn't. It's a super subtle, just a little bit of a glow. And I personally prefer that. It just adds that tiny slight bit of radiance without enhancing your skin's texture, just like they said. So I think these are really great. Like I said before, this is one of my favorite cream blush formulas because they're not sticky, they're not greasy, they're so easy to blend. They don't lift up your foundation underneath and they dry right down to a powder finish. So these are amazing. I highly recommend picking up this kit before it sells out. All right, what's next? I'm just reaching in for something random. Um, okay, so this is the Laura Mercier Stellar Shimmers Caviar Stick Eye Color Trio. So her caviar sticks are one of my favorite cream eyeshadow formulas. They're usually a little on the pricey side, so I have a couple, but I don't buy them regularly. I do think there are some good options at the drugstore, like from Milani, and I think Elf's eyeshadow sticks are also pretty good. But these are kind of the original, and they just are so long lasting on the eyes. They have a nice creamy formula that's easy to blend out even with a brush, and then once they set down, they're not going anywhere wear. They don't crease. And I thought this kit was beautiful. It had three different shades that I have not tried before. So I was excited to just test these out. And in the kit, you're getting three of their best selling shades. You get Wild Rose, Bed of Roses, and Rose Thorn. And instead of outright shimmer or glitter, these have light reflecting pearls. So they're supposed to kind of give your eyes more of a subtle, natural dewiness versus an overtly glittery type of appearance. And the sizes that you're getting in here are actually actually pretty substantial. They're one gram each. Her normal caviar sticks are 1.64 grams each. So again, these are more than a half size and I think they're gonna last you a really long time. It's actually a $51 value for 34. I use the deeper shade, which is like a plum color for my outer corner. And I just really draw these on from the stick. And then I take a little brush and just blend them out. And as you can see, they blend out really, really easily with hardly any effort. So that was the shade Rose Thorn. Then I took the mid-tone rosy shade, Bed of Roses, and I just drew this one all over my lid. And this is gorgeous too. Honestly, any of these you could just use as a one and done shadow if you wanted to. I wanted to try to use all the colors just so I could see what they all look like, but I could see myself especially using this shade just all over as a one and done type of look. And then I used the Wild Rose shade, which is the lightest one in the inner corner of my eye just to brighten and I just blend it a little bit back toward the middle. And as I mentioned before, I just love the finish of these because they don't look super glittery. If you want something that's just more subtle with just a little hint of a glow, I think these are just absolutely perfect. And if you haven't tried the caviar sticks yet, this is a great way to try three different colors. Or if you're like me and you have, but you just haven't tried these colors yet, then it's definitely one to pick up. Also from Laura Mercier, I got her Glow and Go Forth Tinted Moisturizer Blush Collection. So I've had these in the past, but I actually went through them. I got them years ago. So I wanted to pick these up again because I haven't had them in quite a while. And in this kit, you're also getting three different shades. You have Southbound and Promenade, which were the two shades that I actually used to own. I really love them. And then Province, which I've never tried before, but it looks like a beautiful nude color. And what I like about this formula is just how subtle it is. These are great everyday blushes. They have a thin formula that really does feel like a tinted moisturizer. And while I tend to wear more pigmented blushes on camera so that they'll show up in all of my lights, I love these again, just for every day because they just give your cheeks enough color where you're not gonna look like a clown if you step outside. And the formula is just so soft and blendable. It's really almost difficult to go overboard with these, but I really love how liquidy they are because they just sink right into your skin and they don't stay sticky. And you can build them up if you do want a little bit more color, they build upon themselves really well. So this is another just really cute kit. It was $28 and 
and it has a $42 value. So I feel like these are pretty decent sizes and you're not gonna go through them super quickly because again, you only need a tiny little bit of product. All right, here's a Bath & Body product that, oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. I already opened it up and smelled them all and they're heavenly, they are so good. So this is from Fenty Skin and it's their little butter drops. And I have one of these already. I have the original which smells so good. It has this really kind of warm and cozy yet fresh scent at the same time. It's just such a nice scent. It's so soft and subtle, but then that's where after that it gets good, okay? So the next scent is warm cinnamon. This one smells like a cinnamon donut or something. Oh my goodness. It is heaven. I wasn't quite sure when it said cinnamon. I was like, I don't wanna smell like a spice, but no, it's so heavenly, I just want to eat it. It smells so, so good. If you like warm and sweet scents, you're gonna love this one. And then the third one that you get is Vanilla Dream. And I was just expecting this to be like your everyday vanilla scent that you know a lot of body products have, but this one to me, smells like vanilla frosting. It has that extra sugary note in there that is just, oh my goodness. Can I ask if anybody from Fenty is watching this, if you can make these permanent because I would continue to rebuy them over and over again. They just smell so good. And this formula is amazing for dry skin. So these contain nearly 25% rich butters and seven conditioning oils for long lasting hydration. And they give your body a healthy looking sheen. They also have Barbados cherry extract, which has tons of vitamin C and they have glycerin to lock in the moisture as well. So they're just packed with really good ingredients. They have a really rich, thick feel. I love putting these on before bed and especially these scented ones. They're just so cozy when I'm falling asleep. I just love to smell like either the vanilla frosting or the cinnamon donut. So this is a set I think would be a great gift for somebody, stocking stuffers, or just for yourself if you wanna try these out. I don't think you'll be disappointed in the formula. It's great. Also from Fenty Skin, I got their Plush Pudding Duo. So these are their lip masks and I have talked about the original one on my channel before. It's so good. I stopped using that Laneige lip mask that everybody was talking about a while ago because I just didn't feel like it was quite enough moisture for me. And these are so thick and rich. They remind me a little bit in texture of the original Bite Beauty Agave lip mask. It just has that ultra rich thick texture that when you put it on at night, you still feel it when you wake up in the morning. It just hugs your lips and stays put. So in this kit, you get two lip masks. You get the original one, which has a really mild vanilla scent. It's not super strong or overpowering. And then you get Barbados Cherry, which is new. And I don't know if this is limited edition or if they're gonna keep it around long-term, but I also really like the packaging on this. It has a little twist up, so you don't have to deal with a lip mask that's in a jar where you have to dig your fingers into it, you just twist the bottom and the product dispenses up and you can see like how really thick it is, but this packaging works perfectly for that. It just dispenses the right amount of product. And like I said, these are so heavenly if you have really, really dry lips. They have amazing ingredients. And you also save a little bit of money on these because they're the full sizes, which retail for $22 and the kit is 34. So you're saving about 10 bucks on these. Next up, I also got this little kit from Kosas and it's the most wanted lipstick set. So um, I've talked about their wet sticks, the little tinted lip balms that they came out with over the summer. And around the same time, they also came out with these lipsticks. And I haven't tried the lipstick version yet, but I love the tinted balms. So in this kit, you're actually getting three different colors. They are mini sizes, but I figured this would be a great way to just try out a couple of different colors. These claim to be skincare powered with mango butter, cocoa butter, and rosehip oil. They're supposed to be a weight formula that feels really comfy and satiny smooth. And I think these three colors are so beautiful. You have Fantasy Life, which is a neutral baby pink. You have High Cut, which is a warm rosy pink, and then Turned On, which is a warm pinkish brown. These are all very easy to wear colors. They are a bit on the warmer side. So if you like cool tone lips, then you probably wouldn't love this kit. But I'm really enjoying the feel of these on my lips. They're nourishing. They give you 
just like the slightest little bit of shine. They're not glossy, but they're also not matte. They're that really perfect satiny finish and they don't dry out my lips or make them look extra liney. So I'm excited to keep playing with these. And if I really love the formula, I'll probably end up going out and grabbing some full sizes. As many of you know, I've actually been on the hunt for more cool toned lipstick colors. And I found this one from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I was just going through and kind of swatching lipsticks as I went through the store. And um, this is their satin lipstick in the shade Rose Dream. This is the one that I'm wearing in the video today. And I don't know if it's a super cool toned pink. It looked that way in store. Um, but it's described as rose petal pink with the satin finish. And I really didn't want to go like the bubblegum pink route. I just wanted something that wasn't super peachy or orangey, which a lot of lipsticks tend to pull on me. And I think not only is this color beautiful, but the formula I really was surprised at. And I feel like I don't hear a lot of people talking about this lipstick, but it is so comfortable to wear. And I love the little bit of shine that it gives your lips, not to mention the packaging is super gorgeous. It kind of gives me Charlotte Tilbury vibes a little bit with the rose gold metal packaging. And it's actually very, very heavy when you hold it. It feels very luxurious and elegant. And like I was saying before, the formula is just so comfy to wear. I love that it has that tiny little bit of shine, but it's not super glossy. It just has such a nice feel. And I think this color is really beautiful. The more that I wear it, the more I'm just really falling in love with it. I think it's one of the prettiest pinks that I've found in a long time. So very happy that I bought this. Also from Anastasia Beverly Hills, I got the new Glow Seeker Highlighter. So one of the reasons that I got this is because I've been getting tons of questions from you guys asking if this is the Amrezy Highlighter Resurrected. So as we know, the Amrezy Highlighter was a cult classic and it was discontinued a while back. I do still have mine and it is a gorgeous highlighter. It's a baked formula. It's it's just this perfect champagne -y gold color and it's unbelievably smooth. It just has tons of radiance without glitter or shimmer. It's just the smoothest formula ever. So I was excited to see if this new one in the shade Sun Idol was a dupe for this. So I haven't actually swatched them together yet. I want to do that now. I haven't even opened this yet. So um, packaging wise, it comes in really pretty white packaging with the rose gold band and the logo right there. Inside, I mean, it's looking a lot like Amrezy. It's a really soft gold, almost champagne kind of color. They do look incredibly similar in the pan. So why don't we go ahead and just swatch these together. So here we have Amrezy. The new one feels the same too. It feels like it's a baked formula and it's super smooth. I mean, yeah, I would say these are pretty darn close. We have Amrezy over here and this is the new one. What do you guys think? I'm thinking they brought it back just without her name attached to it, which I think is what Becca did with Champagne Pop as well. It used to be attributed to Jaclyn Hill and now it's just Champagne Pop. And I also have one more quick comparison because do you guys remember the So Hollywood highlighter from Anastasia? This one is going back, oh my gosh, maybe 2015, 2016. This one was huge as well. Everybody wanted this. Again, I still have it. It's probably like eight years old. But for those of you who remember, this was an incredible highlighter as well. I feel like this one might be a little bit more gold. Let me see. We can put it next to the new one. I think, well, I don't know actually. They might be pretty close. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this one next to the other two and we'll see how it compares. Ooh, it still feels perfect. It still has this gorgeous, smooth texture. Wow. All right, yeah, I think so Hollywood is a little bit darker. So again, here we have Amrezy, the new one, and then this is So Hollywood. So yeah, it's a little bit darker than the other two for sure, but it has that same baked texture and it feels really nice on the skin. So anyway, that was a really fun trip down memory lane. Um, but if you missed out on the Amrezy highlighter, you always wondered what it was like. This new one, Glow Seeker, is 
pretty much identical as far as I can tell. If you're somebody who wears highlighter, I think you can't go wrong with this formula. It's absolutely beautiful. All right, guys, we're getting down to it. I still have a couple more products. Um, next up, I got another kit. This is the Summer Fridays Lip Balm Kit. So um, I just talked about these in my recent Sephora video where I talked about whether you should shop Sephora or Black Friday and which were the better deals. And I love these so much. I wear them all the time. And the reason that I got this kit, I already have all these colors in the full sizes, but I tend to like to keep them in my purse because when I'm out somewhere, if I just want a little bit of color or my lips feel dry, I always use them for that. But then when I'm home and I wanna use one, I have to go digging around in my different bags. Like, where is it? I'd rather keep ones just reserved for my purse. And I thought these were so cute. They come in just just little mini sizes and they're not gonna take up as much room in my bag. So I just think these are perfect. If you haven't tried this formula yet, these are really soft, melty lip butters that just are super nourishing and they're not sticky. So they do give a little bit of glossy shine to your lips, but they don't have the tackiness that a lip gloss would have. They're really just like a true lip butter with color and all of the different shades smell like whatever their name is. So vanilla and vanilla beige smell like vanilla. Brown sugar is probably the most heavenly of all of them. That one smells like brown sugar. And then poppy smells like citrus. It's almost like an orange. So I love that one too, because it just kind of wakes you up. It's really refreshing. So yeah, I'm not going to go on about these too much. I've talked about them a lot already on my channel, but I just wanted to show you this little kit that I got for keeping in my purse because that way I can keep the full sizes in here with all of my other lip products. All right, what else do we have? Oh, I got um, this fragrance mist from Fleur and this is called Vanilla Skin. So this I just completely took a chance on. I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually love it once I wear it around a lot, but the description sounded really good and initially at least, I feel like it smells good. So um, this is a hair and body fragrance mist. I figured that's at least less of a risk because they're not as strong as a perfume. And this is a gourmand fragrance. So at the top is pink pepper, pink apple, and sugar crystals. Then the heart is lily, jasmine petals, and cashmere woods. And at the base, you have vanilla, sandalwood, and agarwood. I'm not even sure what that is, honestly. But if I had to just put it simply, this smells a lot like pink sugar. Remember the Aqualina pink sugar fragrance that everybody was wearing years and years ago? This smells like a richer version of that. So maybe instead of pink sugar, it's like a brown sugar. It has a little bit more of that vanilla element to it but I definitely smell the sugariness. I think this would probably be too sweet for a lot of people. It's almost bordering on being too sweet for me, but I'll have to see kind of how it goes. I'm gonna wear it around for a day and see how I feel about it. But I have to say, I got some of it on my hands and for a hair and body mist, it is quite strong. So I don't think this is one of those mists where you spray it on and like five minutes later, you don't smell it anymore. I think you're definitely gonna smell this throughout the day and it's probably gonna project a little bit more. I don't know, I'll have to see how I feel about it, but if you like really sweet scents, this might be something to check out as well. Then, okay, I got this other kit from Ilya. This is their Colorways Multi-Stick Set. So I have one of their multi-sticks. I really like it. So I just wanted to try more from the brand, which I feel like a lot of these kits are great for. And this is $48. It says it has an $80 value. It does contain one full-size product in here and then two deluxe sizes. So their multi-stick is supposed to be a blush and lip product in one. And in the kit, you get two of the blushes and then you also get a highlighter. So the full-size blush is in the shade Whisper, which is a light peachy pink. I think this color looks so pretty. Also in the kit, you get a mini of the shade Come Sunday, which is exclusive just to this kit. They don't have it in the full size or anywhere else. And this color is like a beautiful terracotta shade. And I love this one. I think this is going to be such a pretty color for the fall. Again, on both lips and cheeks. I just love how subtle these are. They're just very easy to wear, even if it's a color that you normally wouldn't reach for. Because it has that sheerness to it, it really is just going to enhance your lips and cheeks a little bit without adding too much color. And then the highlighter is one that you can get in the full size. And this is just a beautiful golden shade. And I haven't tried their highlighters before, 
but I can honestly say this is the kind of highlighter that I prefer over any other type because it just gives a dewy sheen to the skin without the shimmer, without the glitter. Actually, let me just put a little bit of it on and we'll kind of see how it performs. All right, so yeah, I mean, I can see it a little bit, but it doesn't look like I'm obviously wearing highlighter at all. I'm just gonna put a little bit more on this cheek, and this time I'm just applying it to my finger and then patting it on this way. I mean, yeah, it's super, super subtle, but if you turn your head the right way, it kind of catches the light, so very pretty. And we've finally reached the end, so if you're interested in more holiday gift sets like this, I did post a video a couple of weeks ago now with other holiday kits that I got, just in case you're interested, if you're planning on shopping Sephora during the sale, or if you're just looking at this point to start getting holiday gifts and stuff like that. I have a lot of swatches and close-ups and all of that, so be sure to check that out. And I wanna thank you all so much for spending time here on my channel with me today. I really, really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll consider subscribing and I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in my next one. Take care guys. Bye.